to the view as well. Not much happened last couple of days. Just having a good, uh, good old rest. Try and get a good popping video in if I can. So I've got batteries on the back of there. Not much has changed. Also, uh, yeah, it's in the high voltage drive. Who was asked? For these net meter in this thing. Yeah, I do. It's to join the 218 volt batteries in series. And I put the amp meter in between. And I use that as my guide to tell when the capacitors are charged. But because these are old, flogged out 18 volt NICADs, they uh, die pretty prematurely. I hope they have only one, one amp hour, I think. They're not very, uh, yeah, little one and a half, one to one and a half amp hour. I want to get uh, some lithium ones, it'd be nice. Two lithium 18 volt coilers, short battery packs, with a little circuit breaker, so I don't blow the batteries up. And that'll power this thing much better. Something with an equivalent power to power this reliably, it'd be good. I can use this more often to charge the caps because the only thing letting this down is these batteries. They're way too flogged out. Hmm. Still get short coming to grips with what I could use as a good power supply for this thing. It's got to be 36 volt, well over 10 amps to power this. I want to hunt for a good power supply to run this thing. Uh, yours, but, um, I've been finding something for this skin we've got from the current Makita LXT uh, coilless shawl. Been looking for some good skins for it lately. Got a good screwdriver, another battery for it, and this bad boy. Been wanting a good coilless straddle gun. This is a 400, I think it's a 450 meter torque. Made in Japan. Can't believe it. 99.9% of all power tools are made by the same company in China, no matter what brand they are. This one, made in Japan. So it ought to be pretty good. It's very rare to find Japanese made stuff these days. Optional on off switch. For the light. Let's go find some good, uh, something to test it on. It's a, um, half inch drive. Does all the most I'm good for doing wheel starts. Does tractor? We just tested on the tractor before. I got some tractor nuts undone. So this thing kicks ass. Better than the um, pneumatic tools, that's for sure. Let's find a good, good uh, test for it. Really, really cheap socket. So cheap we use on a breaker bar, and it just uh, it broke the socket and not the thread. Let's finish it off with a throttle gun. Got an old nut in the vice. Look at that, just tore it out of the vice. Can't get out of the bloody socket though, but there you go. I was expecting the socket to finish off. It did make the crack bigger though. Look at that. I had that pretty tight in the vice too. For to do that, that's a pretty good rattle gun. Hmm, let's see if I can get that uh, thing out of the socket. Pretty tight. Oh, that's it. That's it. pretty damn tight. Yeah, let's see if we can shred that out. Not bad. Well, it was a semi-new nut. It's not a new nut anymore. Try to uh, spin it while you're trying to put it in the socket so it can damage it. There you go. Oh, nice and hot. But there you go. That, our um, pneumatic ones couldn't do that. This does it no worries. Not bad. That's a bloody good rattle gun for it to do that. The book says it's, yeah, four, I think it was 447 eight meters of torque. Replaceable brushes, little uh, base on it with suspension. But if you're gonna stand up like that, it's uh, gonna absorb some of the shock, but it doesn't, very rarely gonna stay like that. Stay top heavy. Weighs about two kilos there. 
if not more. 2200 revs per minute. 1600 to 2200 revs per minute on the, on the hammer mode. I think that's what it means. Yeah, hammer mode. Here you go. I'm really going really to use a lot on this, but it's see when I need it. It's a good option. Most of the other ones, you don't, you can't turn the light off. It just stays on automatically. And the um, yeah, it makes it more convenient being able to turn it off. But before I do that and get it out of the device and twist it, I get it tighter. Oh, let's try again. Let's see if I can move that. Yep, I had that pretty damn tight, and this thing just got off like it was nothing. Anyway, beats having a pneumatic one. I've been waiting for a good uh, electric, rattle, electric rattle gun, so definitely good for doing teardowns without having all the bloody air lines and air leaks. This is a much better alternative. Anyway, just a quick voltage check after that test to see what the battery's like, how much the battery is actually drained. Check the voltage. This was fully charged too. Hard to get. Huh, hey, eighteen point seven volts. I do you believe, being a lithium, same with that, any other battery, it would be around twenty volts, just off the charger. So, either way, it's fully charged still. It didn't use much power during that test. This is an inbuilt battery checker. Check how much that the battery is fully charged for real. It is. Still fully charged after I tested it with that. So, pretty good. It doesn't suck the battery down as much as I thought it would, so definitely a good buy. It wants a good uh, equipment teardown to that now. Instead of just using the pneumatic one, this would be uh, the best way to go without any bloody airlines everywhere. Anyway, overall, Started with this, packed one, two batteries, got a third battery for the, for the promo. Then we've got a four amp hour one for this one. So, I always go higher an amp hour, especially with these sorts of tools. So, definitely a good uh, buy. I recommend this to anyone. Anyway, that's my short mini brief review and test. Thanks for watching.